Happening right now in New Jersey, three family members critically wounded in a stabbing attack. The victims assaulted in the apartment in East Orange just after 7 o'clock this morning. Right now, there is an active investigation. We want to get right out to Eyewitness News reporter Crystal Cranmore live at the scene with the developing details. Crystal. Pedro, it's a very somber mood outside and inside the La Ferreira apartments here on Park Avenue in East Orange as loved ones continue to show up hugging, crying, and just praying that this family pulls through. Now, according to neighbors, it's a mother and two children, two very young children, about one and three years old, who were sent to the hospital. Um, a loved one telling me off camera at this point that, you know, the mom didn't deserve this and she doesn't bother anybody. Let's take a look at some video at this point. We're told the victims were rushed to University Hospital in critical condition with apparent stab wounds. We're hearing from neighbors that the incident happened in a second floor apartment around 1.30 this morning. Uh, again, this is the 100 block of Park Avenue in East Orange. We're working on getting additional details, but again from neighbors, we're told the mother has lived in this building her entire life and is roughly in her 20s. Apparently, she's lost her both her parents within the last few years uh, and now to be hit with this tragedy. Neighbors reported just seeing her yesterday with her children all in a celebratory mood following one of the children's birthdays. We've been speaking with people who live inside the building and neighbors who live around the corner and they say that this property is generally quiet and doesn't attract this type of violence. I am in complete and utter shock and I, my heart is breaking right now. Like, I can't believe it. Like, but what have we come to? Two children and a mom? Like, is the, I don't even know, who, what, what, I don't know is what's setting people off to do something like that. And at this point, according to sources, the victims are still fighting for their lives. There's a much smaller police presence here at the apartment building, but they continue their investigation. Police at this point not commenting on a suspect and a possible motive, but we, of course, will stay on top of this investigation. For now.